Generation Zero. Let's get this party started. So here I am uh, exploring the uh, countryside of Sweden and I stumble across this large monstrosity. I've forged a plan as I've done previously in previous videos. I've shown taking out, taking out some large robots with this. Um, in this particular instance, things don't really go as planned. So, sit right back, and I'm going to tell you a tale. Uh, this guy has got the firepower of a nuclear submarine. And uh, so taking him out is going to be difficult, to say the least. And that really does not much Retreat! <laughs> but, persistence is really the name of the game. You know, you can't take, you know, minor failures as a setback. You gotta press on because the only way you're gonna take him down in single player mode is to take him down. Uh, I believe, I'm not sure if this is the same one or if this is a different one because, uh, You'll see as I progress through here uh, that what I'm doing here is really kind of a lesson in futility because my weapon my weapon systems just aren't good enough at this point. And I wind up shooting that canister and it's more powerful than what I thought and it it practically kills me. I'm down to 10 health right here. Running around, scrounging around. And so uh, I decide to enter this barn to uh, replenish my health. You see that my health is back up to 60 now. And uh, so my idea is as well, you know, thinking, well, maybe he, maybe his line, if his line of sight is impeded a little bit, meaning that, you know, I put something around a corner, you know, maybe he won't see it and he, maybe I can coax him over there and uh, take him out that way. But I'm really somewhat impressed by the, the AI of this game um, because things, again, do not go as planned. You know, it's just hard to believe, but he shoots some sort of laser-guided missile over there and it blows up my little can. Now, had I would have been standing over there, I probably would have been dead. And so... Uh, you know, at this point, you know, I'm saying, hmm, what can I do? You know, you know, what can I do to take this guy out? Then there's another problem. Large explosions bring more robots. You can see the highlighted big uh, robot way over in the distance. And then there's also the dogs that are coming around that are protecting that one. And so it's just, you know, one problem leads to bigger problems. You can see right there the, the bigger robot in the background and the dogs running. And so this leads me to rethinking things a bit. And so I decide to, you know, go back to focusing on the, ro on the robot that, you know, has taken some damage. Just how much damage, you know, I really don't know at this point. And I decided to try ulterior mo uh, methods to try to take him out. And uh, this is just a hand grenade. Well, you know, that's not too bad. You know, so let's just keep throwing those and see if we can't, you know, somehow diminish his capability and take him out. And uh, so I throw that out. I wish I could have gotten that part on video because that sounded pretty, uh, pretty intense when I threw that one. And, uh, but then he goes back into firing these, uh, I mean, if I, if I had to guess, it's like a Tomahawk cruise missile, you know, and, you know, and I'm sitting there thinking, man, you know, the building's shaking, I'm taking fire from somewhere else, and I'm going, man, I gotta get the heck out of here or I'm gonna die, I'm already down to nine health, you know, I need to get the crap out of here. And so as I'm wandering through this field, 
you know, I noticed that there's, uh, I don't know if it's the dogs or what it is, but, you know, I'm backpedaling here, uh, back away from that house. Now, as you watch this, um, I see something what, uh, you know, really, I mean, if I had to guess, that looks like a Tomahawk cruise missile, if I had to guess. And if, if I had, I would have been standing over there, I would be dead right now. Because I've only got nine nine health right now on this meter, and uh, so you know I'm saying at this point you know and then and then I'm standing there and then he's he he spots me, and I haven't even done anything. He spots me and he's firing off in my direction, and so you know I'm thinking you know man what do I got to do to take this guy down? And here he is firing another one off. I've got to run and, and reposition myself almost all the time, and I'm quite a ways back at this point. So, you know, the AI is just crazy ridiculous. I'm probably somewhere around 20 hours into the game at this point, 20, 20 some hour, 20, eh, maybe 23 hours um, into the game at this point. And so, and realize, you know, I'm playing single player, so, you know, my, you know, I'm going to be much slower than those that are playing multiplayer because it's just a tedious, mind-numbing game um, of taking out these smaller robots and then dealing with these larger robots that have these Tomahawk cruise missiles, I and mean, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just crazy. And so, luckily, you know, I have the adrenaline thing where I'm able to revive here. But another thing that I've noticed recently is that I'm only getting 20 health when I do those uh, revive, those adrenaline revive uh, shots. They're only giving me 20 health, so, you know, I'm still at a, at a great disadvantage, um, you know, playing single player uh, up against these, uh, these larger robots. But... You know, I managed to take out some of these dogs, and um, and I just proceed on because I've still got a moderate amount of health left in my in my uh, pack, and so I figure, well, you know, we'll throw some flares over there because it almost sounded, it almost looked like he was kind of kind of dying down a little bit. I don't know what he was doing, and so and then I throw some more flares over there to distract the dog that's coming. Up. I'm still taking damage. I'm down to three health at this point. And I'm going, man, I need to get I need to get the heck out of here before I die because I'm a, I'm I'm only down to three health and here goes the dogs. And I'm down to one health at this point. And so I'm looking for I'm looking for cover at this point and try to avoid that that stupid dog. And uh, so I come over here to this uh, this little trench or gully ravine type thing and, and hunch down there to uh, replenish my health right quick and these are things that you got to be thinking about all the time especially if you play the single player and probably even to some degree if you're playing multiplayer because you know there's there's only so much you know multiplayer is going to do against uh, these, these robots that are capable of this kind of firepower and then with all the dogs and everything else and the dogs seem to, you know, be uh, upgraded over time. You know, they're not the same. You know, each each individual uh, uh, artificial intelligent robot or whatever seems to be upgraded over time because it just seems like I run across, you know, robots that are just more you know, just seem to be more heavily armored different different uh, weaponry like different bullets and so on and so forth and uh, so they it, it's almost you know I mean I'm already down to 45 health again after after replenishing you know and so here I am fighting off this dog and uh, it just it's just a constant battle so but, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're in for a challenge, you know, solo player mode is definitely going to give you a run for your money. That, there is no doubt about that. And uh, so, you know, at this point, I'm thinking, man, what should I, what, what could I possibly do? And here he is. He's still firing off these Tomahawk missiles. And kapow, I'm down to zero. From 45 to zero. And so then, at that point, I don't have any more uh, revive uh, adrenaline pills, and so then I have to abandon the mission. And then, uh, once I uh, 
once I come back to life over at the safe house, I notice this uh, this armored thing that looks like it's been hit. You know, it's injured, and so I'm going, yeah, let's go over here and take that thing out. I might be able to get some uh, get some easy uh, some easy ammo. And then I notice that there's another one over there. I go, yeah, there's only two. One's one's injured pretty bad. I should be able to take two out without too much trouble. And so uh, I take them out, and then uh, all of a sudden, boom! There's two more. And so then he kills me in one, but you know I'm right there at, at my safe house, so I just redo it and just start again, and you know say, well, you know I'm just going to go ahead and take these guys out. I can't be having these guys running around my safe house, you know, because then if I die, then I'm always going to be getting beat up once I come out of the safe house. So I, I have no choice at this point to take these take these suckers out. And uh, you know, and obviously, you know, I'm killed here again. And then he's he's running around, um, and so he's running around here, shooting into the ground. I guess he's celebrating or something. I don't know. And so I cap his butt right here. Thanks uh, for watching my video. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Mental vacation out. Brought to you by Mental Vacation, in association with Gray TV.